Hey, good morning, friends. How are you this amazing Monday morning? I'm a little later than I thought I would be this morning. Uh, I was delayed by coming back from my walk and uh, watching the funeral, the rerun of the funeral of the Queen. And I sort of thought, well, I really need to get this, you know, Monday morning question out there. And I thought, no, probably a lot of other people are watching this as well. Anyway, uh, this morning's question is really actually kind of inspired, if you will, by the Queen. And um, the question is, drum roll please, what kind of legacy are you going to leave? How will you be remembered? And, you know, there are lots of ways that we could be remembered. And apparently there was a... Um, an interviewer who was asking British people to describe the, how they would remember the Queen in one word. And, you know, there were lots of words that came up, and I'm sure that each one of you could come up. But here's what I want to kind of turn this around, is legacy. Every day we have the opportunity to leave a legacy. We have the opportunity to impact somebody. But with respect to your business, with respect to your business, how will you leave a legacy? How will people remember your business? And I think this is very closely related to something that I'm working on called reputation. Uh, and I'm going to talk more about this in my upcoming, um, here, I'll just show you. Uncover hidden uh, profits and time saboteurs. But legacy and reputation, I think, are closely related. Reputation is that um, how people perceive you when you're not in the room, what people think of you when you're not in the room. And I think it's closely related to, you know, if your business was no longer here. How would people remember your business? How would it have, maybe it's how they impacted them, et cetera. So in this uh, upcoming three-day training that I'm doing on uh, starting tomorrow, uh, and this is the link if you haven't registered, I'm going to talk about something called reputation dilution. Just think about that for a minute, reputation dilution. and it's how are we as entrepreneurs diluting our reputation and what is that costing us? And uh, so if that is intriguing for you, uh, I'm sure you'll want to join me for this three-day uh, mini training. But I think there are many ways, and I'm going to share three big ways that reputation dilution could be costing you profits and time. And there are two other big, you know, hidden profit uh, and time saboteurs I'm going to talk about. But I want to go back to this, you know, how will you be remembered? What is your legacy? And, you know, for my family, uh, because the queen was such an equestrian, and I come from an equestrian family, we followed the queen and the family's equestrian, um, what could I say, legacy, really. Uh, I remember when the Olympics were in Montreal and the some of the equestrian uh, competitions were held in Bromont. And Queen Anne competed in that, Queen Anne, Princess Anne uh, competed in that. My sister actually uh, was part of the volunteers that during, uh, at Bromont. We had a chance to see the Queen in Bromont. And so I will always remember the Queen as an equestrian, but also as an amazing leader. And whether we, you know, agree or disagree with royalty, how many of you can imagine yourself as a leader for 70 odd years? Some of you aren't even 70. So how can you imagine that, right? Um, so 
just think about that, the amazing accomplishments that this woman has had. And I'm not suggesting that each of us, you know, has to be, uh, you know, leave such a big legacy or uh, uh, have a, such a huge reputation. But I just want you to start thinking about what is that reputation? What is that legacy that you could be leaving uh, on your behalf with your business and with you. So I'd love for you, if you've been watching this in the comments below, uh, thank you so much for watching the Monday morning question. I'd love your thoughts on this. What is the legacy? What is the reputation that you want to be leaving? Um, yeah, just, you know, think about that. And my friend Cody Schwinn, who is a fellow CAPS member, wrote a book called Everyday Legacy. And he talks about how every day we have the opportunity to leave a legacy. So food for thought, have an amazing week. And don't forget to comment, hashtag live, hashtag replay. If you want to uh, check out all the other Monday morning questions, I think we're into 30 odd. You can find them on my YouTube channel. Uh, they're there for you to, you know, binge watch through. Uh, but the intention is that every week you get something that is thought provoking to think about in your business. Anyway, thanks so much. Take care. Have an amazing and amazing week. Bye for now.